This here is a gyroscope. It's a gyroscope in space, so there's no gravity loads, no aerodynamic loads. And when I start a simulation, well, as you'd expect, nothing happens. It's just like, there's no loads, obviously nothing happens. What I'm gonna do now is import external loads file here. And basically I'm just gonna knock the gyroscope here from the bottom towards the right after five seconds. And you're gonna see now that, you know, it just starts tumbling around, like floating around in space, exactly what you would expect it does. And I'm just pulling it towards me and yeah, again, just floating around. That's, well, that's exactly what you would expect a gyroscope in space to do. Now, what we're gonna do is spin it around. So I can apply a moment, and I'm gonna disable this moment after three seconds here, just to, to get the, the gyroscope to rotate. And, well, you might, you might see what's coming. So now the gyroscope is spinning, and when I push it after five seconds, well, you can see that it's much more stable than before. It is still a little bit wobbly, but yeah, nothing compared to how it was tumbling around before. And again, I pull it on. And yeah, that's a cool, uh, a cool property of, of uh, gyroscopes. And I think that this is something that they use in the ISS to, yeah, to keep things uh, stable. Now the question is, how does this apply to wind turbines? And well, I'm not really sure. So if I open this model now, again, I have no, no loads here. And, and again, I'm gonna apply a moment to, to yo my, my wind turbine, so you know, to move the RNA around the vertical axis. And if I start a simulation like this, yeah, this is the, the, the moment here. You can see that my wind turbine starts yoing, and we can have a look at the, at the yo angle here. And we see that after, let's say, yeah, about 15 seconds here, we've yoed 90 degrees. Okay? So if I don't have a rotating wind turbine, if I come here and say that, sorry, if I come to the initial conditions and I set the initial RPM to zero, and I start my simulation again, well again, I'm applying a, a moment here, so we start seeing that the wind turbine is going. Another question is, where will we be after 15 seconds? And you can see, so if I stop the simulation now, that we've yawed further than, than before, before it was 90 and now it's, yeah, like 110 or something. And so, you know, there you have it. It's easier to yaw a wind turbine that is not rotating than a rotating one. I'm not sure if there's, if there's any application to this. Uh, well, at least it's some cool facts. Uh, but I wonder if, yeah, maybe it has an influence on, the, on floating wind turbines. Mm -hmm. Another question now, if I open this other gyroscope, this one here comes with ashes, this one doesn't, but I will put the link in the, in the description so you can download it and play around with it if you want. But now again, if I, if I disable all the loads here, now I just have like a, you know, a spinning gyroscope uh, that's attached to the ground here. And if I apply gravity, then you can see that it starts spinning around the vertical axis. And well, this is kind of like a wind turbine where you have like a rotating rotor and a shaft here that's at an angle because of the, of the tilt angle. So if I go back to my wind turbine here, now I'm gonna apply gravity load and I'm gonna remove the load that was making my wind turbine yaw. If I start a simulation now, and if we have a look at the yaw angle, which is here, so you can see that little by little, my wind turbine is yawing. Um, so it's gonna yaw here in the, in the clockwise direction when I look at it from above. And that is because, well, I have, you know, a spinning rotor, I have an angle between the, the shaft here and a vertical load, which is a gravity load. And this produces an angular momentum, which is going to make, yeah, it's going to make the wind turbine yaw. And well, over time, this, you know, this will, this will, um, this will have an effect. And the direction in which the wind turbine is going to yaw, so you know, clockwise, if you look from above, depends on the rotational direction of my rotor here. 
And because all wind turbines, or well, all commercial wind turbines anyway, rotate in the same direction, that means that all commercial wind turbines have this tendency to, to yaw clockwise when you look at them from above. And yeah, what I'm wondering is whether you see that, you know, somehow if, you know, after 10 or 20 years of, uh, of operation, you would see that the, the teeth of the, of the gears are like more, more worn out on one side uh, than on the other. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's a question out there. Um, well, here just to demonstrate, I'm just going to run simulation without gravity loads and you will see that the wind turbine is not yawing anymore. So yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm wondering about gyroscopic precession on, on wind turbines. So if you have anything to say, anything relevant to say, please, you know, write a comment or, or let us know. And yeah, as always, if you feel like, you can like and subscribe. Cool. See you around.